Ooh, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the psychiatrist issue from home for elderly people. Uh, I did go for a visit to my father this evening, and I asked receptionist about the second psychiatrist at home for elderly people. The second psychiatrist, what can I tell you? The previous director tutored me about the second psychiatrist at home for elderly people. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch tutored me about second psychiatrist at home for elderly people. The whole thing was enormous lie, it appears. They don't have second psychiatrist at home for elderly people, but in between, there is a grain of truth too. Um, what I can tell you about when it comes to psychiatric staff, regulating home for elderly people is that I'm extremely unhappy with it. Uh, I, uh, I don't see myself in any of it because it was, the whole thing was a lie. And so I'm not surprised about it. Uh, obviously that this is part of their job. Uh, but Tonight, I did manage to penetrate in some extremely important issues, and I'm going to do some corrections on the video I have posted earlier today. And the whole thing, as far as I'm concerned, did more good than bad to me. Uh, this here is not a psychiatrist, this individual. This is an individual whom I have also dedicated a video today, as I regard, I regard one as a second psychiatrist, this is individual who was involved since my childhood. However, this individual is not a psychiatrist. This is some kind of individual with university degree. Obviously, he works in a management. What could that be? I have no idea maybe accountant, whatever he's doing. Uh, and if this is not legitimate of what I stated right now, then fuck it, because then there is nothing other than a lie anyways. Okay? But for the individual whom I have suggested he is a second psychiatrist and whom I visually describe, as you see here, here looks like, like this girl has, like this. Uh, okay. Uh, this individual is not a psychiatrist, I was told. And I was told nothing other than that. I was only told that the first individual I have described comes from Ljubljana. Okay. Uh, in a video, however, I did mention, this video is going to stay, there's nothing I can do. I mentioned in the video, because this is the way I do, I do it by, by memory, everything, what I managed to memorize, obtain proofs about it, yes. In this video, I mentioned about Janis Jansha, Loise Peterle, I mentioned about people that would also delivered me to a uh, psychiatrist in Ljubljana or Novo Mesto upon each MK Ultra session that would end. Okay? Uh, so this is a breakthrough right now. This is a really, really breakthrough. Uh, what I did manage to state in this video which I have dedicated to a so-called second psychiatrist at Home for Elderly People. But this is what you can expect from psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. I mean, anyways, uh, lies, a lot of lies. Uh, I did came to terms 
And when I was even trying to describe his work location, I had a big difficulty. I struggled because in, in the normal master city, uh, the psychiatrists are rather located in a basement. In a basement in a, in a first floor in, when it comes to general hospital, and I just couldn't find, I couldn't spot where I would fit a psychiatrist that would be involved since so early on a picture at the hospital, at the general hospital novel master. Yeah? So then I, it came to me that I was also taken to Ljubljana, either Ljubljana or novel master. Well, here's the deal. We're talking about Ljubljana, uh, and when I earlier stated about a psychiatrist that was regularly involved in it, Slovenian, uh, and also a Serbian, and it was a military physician, I was absolutely correct. Uh, a military physician, a Serbian military physician, uh, was based in Ljubljana in what probably was a regular hospital, Ljubljana Polia. This was no psychiatry or anything like this. He worked probably at, 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 uh, uh, at the main hospital in Ljubljana, something like this. It was quite high. Um, it was not on the first floor, not the second, not the third, not the fourth. Uh, and it must have been in, 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 in a big hospital, in some kind of big hospital it must have been, all right? Uh, I was brought there by the police, by Udba people, kinds of people, uh, and it's something that Loise Peterle, Janis Jansha, Igor Boucher inherited. Igor Boucher from Novo Mesto would also take me they would try to get me also to visit here rather than Ljubljana because these guys were also tired when they would go and travel and they had a difficulty catching sleep, coming home and get rest. And so they were thinking about instead switching with a novel master, Ljubljana with novel master, you know, and they wouldn't allow them in Yugoslavia, you know. Uh, they would still have to deliver me to Ljubljana. Um, Upon every MK Ultra session that ended, there you go, military doctor, Ljubljana, main, uh, main hospital, whatever that was, uh, visit the psychiatrist, and this psychiatrist was a Serb, was an older man, and he was an officer. Uh, and uh, sometimes in 1982, in 1982, um, next to this Serbian psychiatrist, there was also some Slovenian guy, maybe more than one, maybe there were like two, three, I have no idea. But in 1982, and I'm not going to even bother right now to look, uh, whatever look, uh, in 1982, this psychiatrist, talking about the Slovenian, moved to another building. Uh, there was a private, it, it appeared to me like a private offices that would be. At that time, not very likely, That's, this was Yugoslavia, but they did have a new building. They built like a high rise and they would open in this, they would start to deliver me instead into this building for examinations upon every termination of MK Ultra bestiality. These are no fucking sessions. This is all about torture, to be exact about it. Uh, okay, and so they continued to renovate this shit building, new building, and they were really proud about it. Lois uh, Peterle, Janis Jansha, kind of ridiculous because they were giving me impression like they discovered America or anything. Or something like this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to say maybe there were even two of these newer buildings, but I'm going to just say that just stick with one. They built one in 1982, I think. Uh, and then there was 
another building which I believe they renovated. Uh, the building they renovated was a building that was, I think, even older and renovated. And it was part of the other buildings in Ljubljana. Uh, something that you would even have clothes there, like a parking that you would go inside and so on to park the car maybe or something like that, I don't know. But the other building I'm talking about that they built from scratch, that was just a new building in 1982. I think it was like yellow color even. Uh, and they would be located very high up on, a, I have no idea, quite high up on a fifth floor or whatever. Uh, so this is one thing about Ljubljana psychiatrists. This guy comes from Ljubljana. This guy knows about stuff I am talking about. He knows all about it. Uh, talking about this man right here. Okay. However, this guy is not from Novo Mesto. This is dur during MK Ultra. They were making me printing in my head idea that, that he is from the Novo Mesto. That he lives here. Oh, uh, man. They give a whole lot of lies when it comes to this more than what I can count. So, but what I what I did right now is I pointed out that the original physician that I would have to report the MK Ultra was a physician that was based maybe even in a clinical center of Ljubljana psychiatrist on upper floor. And uh, I don't know what floor, maybe third floor or something like this. I have no idea, fourth floor. If there are four floors, third, fourth floor, okay? Uh, General Hospital, whatever that is, this clinical center, the biggest one. This was a big fucking hospital. Yeah, that's what I say. This is what this was. And it was like this until 1982 when they came up with another building and I would find myself instead in some a rather pleasant environment all of a sudden. And I think it was a new building uh, with psychiatrists nicely talking to me, Slovenian language, at all time, no more uh, bestiality. The Serbs basically owned that clinical center in Ljubljana, yeah, where the psychiatric department was. They owned one. Uh, I think it was this place here, this clinic center. Okay. So, I mean, I think this is was it. Yeah, I think that this was it. This this thing here. So this this was up up somewhere. Hell, I don't know, man. On what do you see right there? One, two, three, four, five floors. Uh, I think like a four floor, something like that, yeah? And inside of this clinical center in Ljubljana, this was a Milan Kuchan who ran this garbage, torture. It was nothing other than torture from one office to another. It was a bestiality they performed inside. And the one in charge for it was Serbs. Well, in 1982, the bestiality was finished. And I found myself in some building... A rather modern building. Yeah. Hell, I don't even know. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's do it like this. And see if I can come up with something real fast. So, you know, every time if I make, uh, I don't make mistakes. Fuck that. I don't make any kind of mistakes. I haven't made any kind of mistake. I'm not responsible. Look, if I have a people that did nothing other than lie, I'm not, I'm not responsible for the lies of other people. I'm not excusing myself. I'm calling for the police to issue arrest warrant for these people and bring them to the justice. I'm not here to apologize. These people lied about absolutely everything. And there was nothing other than violence that went on.
So I'm going to try to see basically what this building sends. If they're going to show some building. This to me, if you see right there, yeah, I'm going to come back to this here. That could be like that. If it's not going to be here, I am just going to go this here. There you go. This is the one. There you go. There you go. This is one. There you go. Uh, so what we're going to do is, there you go. This is one. It's just actually a really simple thing to do. You know, this is no fucking science. You know. There you go. It was something like this. This was one. There you go. I do have to come back to that one, as I stated. So, uh, this is something that I have to see. Yeah, this this definitely here. Um, Okay, so these are two buildings that I am going to select as the two locations where Peter Le, Yansha, uh, this is the stuff that was done sometimes in 982, basically. And they were trying to get me here to Novo Mesto, and they couldn't. So I would say the Peter Le, Yansha, Boucher, uh, I would say they enforced psychiatry against me. Something they had absolutely no fucking right. Something that started with what you see here in Yugoslavia, and it's something they started to enforce in Slovenia. These people are no innocent under any kind of circumstances. It's nothing really that is okay about this. So that's all I'm going to say about this video. This is a correction I have to make immediately. Uh, I haven't made a mistake. I can't. I can't be responsible for uh, for the stuff they brainwash me with. Uh, it's impossible for me to to be responsible for it. Uh, they had 
other people, other psychiatrists coming from Ljubljana as well. There was a young, younger psychiatrist that was also occasionally would visit from Ljubljana, who is uh, sister, I think, is a journalist and so on. Uh, difficult call, difficult call when they are lying to you about this stuff, about this issue. It's a difficult call to just go out there and what should be easy, in fact, it really, really was not easy because psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, uh, he made this look like a competition between him and individual, as I described as a second psychiatrist uh, earlier today. And there's nothing you can do about stuff like this. I mean, if they brainwash you with a, with a lies like this, there's not a fucking thing you can do about this. But yeah, and I'm going to tell you another thing. The hospital in Belgrade, uh, every psychiatrist from Slovenia that was involved in it, that's a whole lot of guys, had to go through that psychiatric hospital in Belgrade. Uh, that was like, now like you say, Obuka. Uh, the beginning for them, of military service. It was like a place where they would get like a practice on hand. A psychiatrist Peter Kapsch posed in that hospital a whole lot. Uh, I am certain that this man served his military service in that hospital. Uh, I believe that every one of the psychiatrists that was involved in it that stumbled across me had chance, a privilege to be inside that Belgrade psychiatric hospital. This is one thing I have to tell you about this Belgrade psychiatric hospital. If this hospital still even exists, that's a good question. This was a green color, uh, quite big hospital, uh, square basically structure in Serbian capital, Belgrade. And uh, what they told me, the horror about the hospital, that if I, you, if I ever did come in there, in those hospitals, I don't even understand. I didn't, nobody actually understood what the fuck was this. Yeah, Yugoslavska Narodna Armia, Yugoslav National Military Psychiatric Hospital. For what the fuck was this for? I mean, the people. What are you gonna do? This is a military hospital. Where you should, what, what are you gonna do inside of the military hospital? Well, well, they fucking experimented on human beings inside of that Serbian hospital in Belgrade. It was a hospital, according to my view one of the hospitals that is like from a fucking horror movie. Like the worst place you possibly can get with some patients, they told me. Psychiatrists alone were all disillusioned about that system. That system sucked, that Yugoslav system. It's like not the end of the road, but lucky you. Lucky you when the day comes that you're dead, that you die, that you go from this world. Because those hospitals, those Serbian hospitals is just source of evil and suffering, unbearable and unlimited suffering. What they were doing inside of those hospitals, human experimentations is my guess. They were experimenting on people like on animals. This is my guess that this is what they were doing because it's just nobody could rationalize why they would, why the fuck would you have permanent patients in there? What, what the fuck? So they were doing all kinds of testing on them, probably lobotomies, probably God knows, probably God knows what kind of injuries they have done to people and they would not release them anywhere else. And they continue to use them to test on God knows what. 
maybe even MK Ultra God knows what they were doing with the people. Ah, horror. That's all I gotta say. So, not much about this uh, second psychiatrist. I did exceptionally good. The man I have described is somebody with a four year degree, university degree, and it probably works in accounting, bookkeeping. It's either a bookkeeper, a counter, something like this. And if he's not even a bookkeeper, a counter, a counter, then I'm going to say F me. But he was involved since my childhood. That I'm going to say that he was involved since my childhood. Um, he actually gave me, uh, you know, I made a mistake here. He did give me, uh, he did give me, uh, this was back in time when I was young. This man with his gray hair, as I described one as a second psychiatrist, was actually a very, very, very nice guy. Really, really soft, friendly, uh, as friendly as any anybody possibly could be. Caring and supportive individual that I really loved one. I have fallen in love with this guy. Uh, I made a mistake. Sorry, this was not a psychiatrist. And the theories they implanted in me, the misinformation, the bullshit with idea to screw me up, uh, this is impossible. Basically, this is impossible to, to overcome without making a mistake. Impossible. So this stuff here is still up for investigation. I do have to talk to the person to see what exactly, who exactly, how. Uh, but I did correct it partially, this stuff. And uh, for the psychiatrists that come from Ljubljana, you know, they might have even told me that he comes from Ljubljana. One time when I was asking this, this nursing staff at this home for other people. The thing is, I don't give a damn about what people say. I don't care because it doesn't do anything for me. I, uh, you know, if somebody tells you the information, if you don't know how to properly sort it out and where to find this person based on your memory from MK Ultra, it's not worth it anything. You have to come to conclusions. You have to see the person. You have to recall the person, whichever way you know, and set one in a proper place, time, so that you're worth anything at all. This is a very hard stuff to do, uh, but just taking on this individual with a gray hair, which is not psychiatrist, it helped me out to open the window of how MK Ultra went on. about final stops at psychiatrists in Ljubljana, actually. They would not allow this to be transferred to Novo Mesto. They tried to get me to Novo Mesto, maybe here and there a few times, maybe uh, it did happen so. In a Novo Mesto city, in Novo Mesto city uh, was this man, Bosnia, since from forever, I think he was, uh, who also became one of my psychiatrists once I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013. Um, you know, this is a horror, but it's got to be done. It's got to be. It's got to be complete. It's got to be enforced. So, uh, for me to say I made a mistake and uh, even. Mistakes I've made, even more than mistakes I've made, I made a tremendous progress of pointing out that uh, basically about what went on. When Lois and Petrelet popped up on a picture, um, nothing was really too, too good because it didn't make no fucking sense. I don't understand what the fuck this is all about, but I think it started in this building. I think it's actually, it was a tall building. Is this building? I don't know. 
uh, it could be the building behind. I don't know. Uh, because Loise Petrle was not generous. Uh, he was just uh, making sure that I would not get idea, see, feel which building it is. Okay. Uh, so I am going to go, actually, as soon as I am here now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Maybe this one here. Hold on a moment to see if I can actually do something more here. This was the direction, this here. Okay, so uh, that I so to say Yeah. Um I don't know. I don't know because it took me to all these fucking buildings. This is, uh, hey, hey, you know, to somebody it's a hey, 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 you know, but uh, somebody that finds them in that situation and you have an idiot that doesn't even make sure, that, you know, that he would demonstrate you, show you, and this and that, it's, it's difficult. Um, this Austria, Trend, Ljubljana, all this whereabouts, there was whereabouts about this stuff here. Uh, this is a frequent location that I was delivered to this place. Frequent, frequent, frequent location. Of course, there was no such thing like Austria trend here back then. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what the point of interest was to Petrle. She would come here to, uh, they had in this building here, in this building, they would come here and they would have a point of interest. But it appeared to me or rather they were in some kind of electronic stuff, you know, that they were making some kind of business on the side, like electronic, something like that. That's what I got an impression about it, that when they would come here, it would be some business with uh, electronic, I would, I would even say, you know. Um, now, if you ask me, you know, a psychiatrist, if it was here, a psychiatrist, then psychiatrist must have been here at the top, uh, and I don't know. I'd love to know about this building here because probably this is what the building was where they had this psychiatrist. And you know, if I could, if I could see behind these buildings, you know, so for me to say, we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go out. I don't know, let me see that stuff here. Yeah, this was this was this was the alpha, uh, this buildings. Second to second to a clinical center, which I demonstrated at the beginning of the video. Uh, this was the place. Uh, this here. Now they don't show anything around here. Now they don't show what is inside. So Okay, World Trade Center, uh, Austria Trend. Yeah. Okay, so I, I told you exactly about this stuff here. Yeah. So if uh, a psychiatrist was in this building here, then psychiatrist was up there somewhere. As on the lower floors here, uh, Peter Lev would do, I told you, they were selling some kind of electronics. They would do that kind of stuff private. And, uh, you know, I'm not really sure, but to me it sounds even as if they had some kind of mail inside here, like a postal service or something. I don't know. This is where it goes back, back, back in time. So another thing I'm going to say is that the strong possibility exists that Psychiatrist also was here. Either here or there, or maybe even here and there. I have no idea. This was second to the clinic center, Ljubljana, the second most 
location where I would be delivered, but there also was another location where I would be delivered, which I demonstrated earlier. I would not even, I, I would not even, I would not even move with the finger for other locations. I would not, I would not touch one. I am just, I just want to touch whatever is like uh, the buildings that I was like uh, the most, that were the most uh, involved. Uh, that's basically what, what matters to me. I don't. There you go. So a clinic center, uh, second place, the building that I demonstrated you, the third place, this one here. That's all the rest of it. Um, and that's a pretty damn good job. Listen, I'm from the city of the Novo Mest. I'm not from here. And when it comes to Belgrade, I never looked for the military uh, hospital in Belgrade. They had several these older buildings in Belgrade, but that was a like... no, none of that kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, man, uh, they don't show anything about this. They don't know anything. Okay, in Belgrade. They don't know, they don't know anything. Here. You see the color? You see that color? The green like this? Like this. This, this here. Psychiatria Klinica Center Vojvodina. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, this here, this is Novi Sad, yeah? this one, this, uh, this sounds like, yeah, it would not open, yeah. but this sounds like familiar, okay, let me see that, Ubien patient na psychiatry, patient was killed. Uh, this here, this is like uh, exactly what I am talking about. This here, this is the one. I don't know what this is. This is in the Cyrillic, with the Cyrillic, Cyrillic letters. Uh, so what is this? Uh, okay. What I'm going to do, because it's not going to do any good to turn this into English language, Oh, this is as a child that would they would deliver me here. Uh, listen, uh, they murdered people a lot. They murdered a whole lot of people through these hospitals. And when it comes to the military hospitals, God forbid, as they say, God forbid that they ever get you here. I mean, this is this is really walking on the edge. This is really, really walking on the edge, like on the most dangerous edge possible. So this is, hopefully it's going to translate into English. And uh, there you go. Obsta Bolnica. They say this is like a general hospital. Uh-huh. General Hospital in Shabbat. Uh, breast, prostate cancer. Huh. Holy shit.
Oh, this place is so evil that you just, uh, just, uh, I mean, uh, they do have also psychiatrists over there, but the Shabbats is another city. I don't like the idea about that it's like in another city, uh, when I know they do have over there. This is what this was the evil place as fuck. This place here, this was, uh, this is this is a clinica za psychiatriju. This is a psychiatric clinic. This one here, a clinica center Vojvodine. Okay, clinic center Vojvodine. What is here to say? I mean, there's just nothing novi. Okay, hi, whatever it is. Novi Sad, okay, this is a Novi Sad. But this is very close to Belgrade City. So there you go, there you have your. And now they are so 50 kilometers apart still. But they have this. I don't want to talk about this stuff. That's that's enough for me. This is just to make a correction. And yeah, what can I say? The Slovenian psychiatrists all had to go through what I demonstrated you. They had to go through these hospitals in Serbia, psychiatric hospitals. Uh, this, this, this is this according to. Slovenian psychiatrists, this place here, this this is a horror. Whoever, whomever they got into this this year, this novice up, this place here, on a psychiatric hospital, and really, why why would you see the military? I mean, you'll be lucky if you're dead. I mean, you'll be you'll be fortunate if you if you die. I mean, it's like tremendous fortune. This is just a fucking horror, really a horror. I don't know how it is now, but that's the end of the video for me.